Hello, welcome to a very, very late night, uh, Friday night stream. Uh, for those of you wondering, fast forwarding, uh, we will be having some schedule changes coming up. If you check the Twitch stream, or if you're already on the uh, Twitch stream on my channel, uh, it's going to be down at the bottom there. I uh, should have something uploaded there by the 18th, but uh, that's the... That's, uh, date I'm uh, trying to commit to right now. Shouldn't take that long, but uh, I wanted to give myself more than enough time. Just get my dashboard pulled up real quick for the Twitch stream. But yeah, I, I have had some schedule changes recently, and uh, and yeah, we're going to have to change a few things, unfortunately. The next uh, week or so is really going to be a crapshoot, though, because I'm going to have a uh, like a, a day off, then working days, and one day off, and a working day kind of thing. But, yeah, well, uh, we'll we'll work with it for right now. Let me get the uh, Twitch stream pulled up, the dashboard. And without further ado, we're only uh, 99 miles out, about 100 miles out from uh, the target area. So we're going to go ahead and get airborne. Town 310, launching cap. to the tanker first. About 30 miles from. It should be a KC-135 tonight. Angels 20, 300 knots. But it is going to be a short stream tonight. I'm trying to put something out there. I do realize it's very late. There's probably a very low probability of any air-to-air uh, -air engagements tonight. But you never know. It can always happen. Friday night after all. But we got about an hour of daylight left before dusk. Actually, probably about 30 minutes by now. So we're probably going to be uh, committed to a uh, case 3 recovery tonight. There's the sun off in the west. Packing four Mark 82 Snake Eyes tonight and uh, two Mark 83s. We're going to be uh, bombing visually all tonight. We just got a lot of dumb bombs loaded. So it looks like we've gone past 20,000. I'm going to keep on going over the tanker for right now. And we're going to drop in low. Uh, attack with our uh, Snake Eyes and Mark 83s. It's hot for a minute here. Let's see what our velocity closure rate is. Let's tanker. It's like 200 knots right now. There's our spikes. Looks like we got two of them out there. Right about 80 miles. Yep, that's what the uh, HSI is saying as well. So we have that tanker is getting awfully close. Uh, 
that target area right there, he's flying right towards it. Hopefully he's going to go into that left turn here shortly. Yeah, looks like he's starting his turn. Maybe. Yep, okay. There he goes. He is. We should start seeing uh, higher numbers here. On velocity closure rate, or V sub C. So he's only like 40 miles. Looks like. From, uh, the target area. Top off before we uh, head into the target area. We're gonna be going low and fast. So we're probably gonna need the gas. Right now we're pushing about 1.1 Mach, 11 miles a minute, 1.09 to be exact. cold year. Whoops. There we go. Only about 50 miles from the target. Close to six o'clock for comfort. So we're probably going to be taking on about six thousand pounds of gas, probably about three minutes of tanking. It should uh, put us back into the left turn, hopefully. And we'll be off to the target. Actually, I think I'm going to wait for him to uh, start his left turn just so that way we can maximize our gas. We've got enough energy up here to do play around at all. Yeah. That's sufficient uh, energy to stay inverted.
few more minutes of going back this direction, then we'll start getting gas. If he hasn't started his uh, left turn yet. We'll probably be taking about uh, 6,000 pounds aboard. But we are flying this one solo tonight. So, as anyone notice. switch over to the waypoint. And the ship's tack in. So we got to about uh, 40 miles. Should be turning any time now. So that is uh, 30 miles from where he started his last turn. Five miles. Come on, man. These uh, Air Force singers go a lot further. Typically. Uh, they put them on uh, 30 nautical mile legs versus uh, 15. So down three one zero switch a safe nose cold looking for six K. Zero is receiving fuel. A little bit of extra movement here, which isn't too ideal. About 14 and a half uh, thousand pounds. We'll uh, have all of our uh, internal fuel tanks filled. <coughs> so, yeah, we a little bit out of parameters.
as we're starting to get a little bit of gas in our uh, external tank there. Which we pretty much always have with us. Let's chat. At least during uh, fleet ops. It's pretty rare that we uh, fly without it. So that and the uh, FLIR pod. Actually topped off on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and back on out. And stow my probe. I want to say goodbye to this tanker. Get low and uh, going for our attack. Probably gonna be attacking with uh, Mark 82 Snake Eyes first. Drag component on them, which is going to be a little, uh, little X looking fin that comes off of it. Lack of better words. Lack of better ways to describe it. That's one thing I like about packing Mark 82 is, is the jet's still somewhat uh, lightweight enough where it can do some of this stuff at Angels 20. supposed to keep the jet uh, in negative G for too long, so we'll go ahead and give this guy a wing wave and get the heck out of here. Go, ahead and go up to minimum burners here. Start getting everything ready. Don't you need our radar on this attack? We're gonna be bombing with our eyeballs. So we want drag to be retard, which is uh, it's not an insult to the bomb's intelligence or anything. Being a dumb bomb, that just means that we're gonna be using that drag component on it. So it's not referring to the aerodynamics. will be retarded over it, which will slow it down, so hopefully we won't get blown up with the bomb. We're also going to be bombing in CCIP mode. We'll go ahead and get that uh, pepper pulled up. Now let's go ahead and drop two of these at once, with an interval of 76 feet in between each one. to the left here, as soon as we get the rest of the island to hide behind, we are going to be having to use a little bit of terrain to our advantage. As you can see though, right now we do not have line of sight on that SAM, it's no longer spiking us.
Itching Betty. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, the dust setting for the webcam. There we go. So it's still maintaining 50, which it is. In fact, it's maintaining it well enough where I feel comfortable down to 20. You do see that dud marker right there. That means that we're so low right now that the bomb would not have time to arm before it hits the surface. Thirty miles out. Looks like we're good at 20. Good news is we got a big mountain right there. Definitely hide behind that. How's our fuel look? 16.1. We do burn a lot of gas down here. Betty back on. Go ahead and go to full burner. Sixteen miles. If we get line of sight at this range, it will start locking us and uh, shoot at us. Designate that as a target. some power lines. Seven miles. Here in a second, we're just going to charge it. He's probably going to light me up as soon as I break this ridge line. Yep. Shit. Sight one more time. Yes! Ha! Okay, we're gonna have to find this knucklehead. Oh, wait, I see one in the open right there. Let's circle around for the other guy. Shoot. Town 
Zero bombs gone. Town 310 hits the target area, and there's the other dude. I can see him right there. I'm just gonna circle around as fast as I can. Zero bombs gone. Talent three one zero hits in target area. Okay. Do this. Do, uh, Mark eighty three now. Let's make sure we're not dropping both of them at once. Shoot. still be active. I think we did take most of them out, but I'm going to drop, uh, drop one on him. Talent 310. Oh, bomb's gone. Or bomb gone. Excuse me. Talent 310 hits in target area. Zero is Winchester. That got him. Here, Twelve point four. Out of air to ground ordinance. I think we might have gotten everything. Let's take a look. Ah, something's down there. It's still alive. Let's, uh, let's finish off with guns. and everything down there. Dang. I suppose there's something still down there. Like a launcher or radar or something. My guess is it's a... Uh,
I waste a lot of ammo on that guy. discharge. Well, let's see if that uh, wraps it up, though, for the SAM sites. Haha! -ha, yes! Alright, so we have uh, killed all SAM sites in the area. Damn, that was my first uh, negligent discharge, I think, on stream. At least a gun round. Actually, yeah, pretty much of anything. We are uh, heading back to the ship at this time. So we've got 11 one fuel state, so I think we're going to be able to burn it all the way back, and we might have time for actually a case one recovery, let's see where the sun is on the horizon, yeah, that might be enough time, we'll probably make it back in about eight minutes. Right now we're doing about uh, nine miles a minute, but once we uh, level off, we're going to be hauling butt a little bit quicker. How's it going, Pancake? Scourge Zero, what's going on, man? <laughs> Appreciate it. I wanted all those uh, sim objects destroyed, and so uh, I packed in more than enough ordnance. But um, but yeah, I guess I had to finish it off with my gun. Still got over half my guns left though, which I'm happy about. 228. I never like using all my guns just in case I get jumped on the way back. I actually. Guns, in my opinion, guns are the real money maker of this beast, especially in air to air. But missiles miss. Guns, though, you can't. Uh, they won't miss if you know what you're doing with them. <laughs> A few of those bursts, though, looked like they were all over the place. Maybe some of the. I thought I was uh, steadily on the target or tracking it pretty steady, but we won't be needing this radar anymore tonight. Or hopefully not. Doing about 11 miles a minute now, five minutes out from the ship. I'm gonna try to get there before uh, the sun goes down. It might be a little bit too late for that. I think probably in real life they would already start. Going Case 3 ops by now. Not only do we have to, uh, the sun's 
yeah, it, it's kind of misleading that we're only five minutes out because also we're going to be going uh, about uh, 50 more miles or 60 more miles to the east, which uh, the sun will be a little bit lower on the horizon by the time we get there. Or even if we were able to teleport there right now, the sun will be uh, lower on the horizon for us. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, there's no, in my opinion, also, a missile kill isn't really like a noble kill, or it's not like a, essentially you're pressing a button and then you're sending out a kamikaze with a rocket booster up their butts to do your dirty work for you. <laughs> But yeah, they, they are notorious for uh, missing. At least against it, against people who shoot a lot of missiles, usually they're not very good. Oh, appreciate it, Pancake. Thanks, man. <laughs> no worries. But yeah, against, uh, against a lot of the people who are missile dependent, I've noticed a lot of those people aren't as good at dodging them, but against a lot of people, I get... That's the two things that we like to focus on, at least, or that back in the past when we had like a more of a regiment and training program and everything. But we was uh, the the two things for air to air was uh, dodging missiles and shooting people down with guns were the two big things that we taught. Because missiles you don't have to teach a whole lot about. You know, it's you. I agree. You can teach. You know, obviously we know, we know how the radar works and everything, and all the different modes that you can shoot the 120 or the seven. Uh, for for uh, for vintage sake, I like to keep the aim nine mics on my wings, but um, even with those, like, it, yeah, there's special things about every missile, I guess. Like the mics versus the X's, that's what this little switch is for. The IR cool override. In real life, you would switch up to norm if we were gonna. Whoops, I don't want to go MCON. Yeah, there we go. Aim nine mic. But um. The seeker head on this, it's actually, it looks through, um, not glass, but it's actually a uh, metal called germanium, and uh, that's transparent through a lot of infrared wavelengths, and that's that's why they, you know, a lot of thermal detectors, you know, the tips of the AIM-9s, they have that on them, but uh, the problem is they heat up, so you actually need either argon or nitrogen gas bottles, and the, the X's have it already on board, but uh, the old uh, mics, you actually had to put in the... In the, into the actual uh, winglet, or uh, into the missile rail right there. Air Force used uh, argon bottles, which is a uh, noble element, and uh, Navy uses uh, nitrogen, which is not a noble element, but it's uh, it's very non-reactive. Heck, 70% of our atmosphere is nitrogen. <laughs> yeah, Jack doesn't throw off a bullet. <laughs> I drink to that. Oh, man. But yeah, it's, it's rare that I use them. Okay, go ahead and turn off our IR coolant. We're 20 miles out. Man, I don't know. What do you think? Case 3 or Case 1 recovery? I feel comfortable doing a Case 1 still. With that little amount of daylight. Heck, I feel comfortable with Case 1's even in IFR conditions, but I know they wouldn't do them that way in real life. <laughs> within 20 miles, so I'm going to go ahead and drop my hook. So 14 miles out. In fact, in a configuration like this, this is when the Super Hornet's most dangerous, like from like five to 10,000 pounds or so. Granted, less than that, I'm starting to worry about getting back to the ship, but the jet, when it's lightweight like that, without any uh, bombs on its wings or anything, it is a very good dogfighter. It catches a lot of people off guard. Uh, case three would be going way back aft, like nighttime approaches. Case one is when they fly right next to the ship, usually either like an overhead or a fan break or a tuck under or 
something like that. I was probably going to do a tuck under. I'll do a case one. Those are, uh, this is probably, this might be the latest case one that would, that would ever be done if it's ever <laughs> been done this late before. But, but I'm a new Town 310 platform 4.0 platform. I waited to like 4,000 4, feet and I have my radar on. Top 310 is breaking. Not sure how fast we were. I'm hoping we were supersonic so we got to boom the deck. I believe we were. There's 600 feet. I'm going to go ahead and throw out our gear. I know we're a tad bit fast but as long as you don't keep it at that speed. I know when we were on the blues, though, the entry speed for the Diamond Dirty Loop was around uh, 300 knots, so I'm not too concerned about the gears getting ripped off. Talent 310 is at the 90. Talent 310, Rhino Ball 3.8. Since we can already see it. We're nowhere near the groove yet, but we don't have an LSO on deck, so we're going to go ahead and get that out of the way. Very late case one recovery. So yeah, the same uh, the difference between that and the case three. The case three we would have gone about uh, 10 to 20 miles aft and then started our approach from there with the needles or the ILS needles and everything. Case one is usually used more for uh, v VFR conditions. So, but yeah, that was a uh, case one recovery right there. <laughs> what have been a man? What have been yeah. I really like that stream, but one thing that bugs me, I had a negligent discharge on there. Uh, freaking with my gun. I was trying to, I hit my joystick, I hit uh, this button, and I guess my finger accidentally did that. <laughs> I think we only lost like, what, four or five rounds, but it, it's a principle that counts. Yeah. But I appreciate anyone tuning in. Thanks, Pancake, for the, uh, for the, for the bits there. And I uh, appreciate the convo, Surge Zero. But yeah, I will be uh, most likely back up tomorrow. Uh, probably around midday, actually. I got tomorrow off, but then I got to work Sunday, Monday. And then we're going to have Tuesday, Wednesday off. We're probably going to be streaming some more. But, uh, but I will be having a better schedule up soon, within the next two weeks. But uh, like I said, appreciate you uh, tuning in. And... Uh, Hope to see you next time, and as always, happy fly until next time. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. I, I saw that in chat. <laughs> oh, man. No problem, man. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.